Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If this is your first time coming onto the channel, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. But now, let's get right into today's topic. Today is a very, very urgent topic for you guys, and that is revolving CZ. This entire mania, you know, we have seen Kevin O'Leary uh, testify and, you know, really put CZ and Binance under the belt. And now we're seeing massive, massive force coming into uh, Binance. A lot of regulators are investigating, asking CZ questions, and there's a lot of things that are not adding up and right now even the binance coin is sitting at some very critical price levels and guys this is more than just binance this is the entire cryptocurrency market this has a massive massive effect so you want to watch this video till the absolute end because this is not looking too good right now and i was expecting this after the FTX collapse, I said, you know, more and more exchanges need to be questioned. And, you know, we are going to see that happen from the regulators. And that's exactly what we're seeing happen right now. So let's get right into some of the topics that I'm going to be covering today. So let's talk about this you know, video on CNBC while CZ was live with them. So let's get right into it. At the golden standard for reliability, solidness in the so space. Do it. So would you be able to dollars. handle it if somebody asked you for $2.1 billion back? Would that be okay? Would you be able to still withstand things? We're financially okay. Including you have $2.1 billion to give away if somebody came to, reclaw, to claw that back, you'd we'll, still be fine? We'll, we'll let the lawyer handle it. Our fin we are financially strong. Even after the FTT price dropped over the last year, we still had $500 million worth of it. Uh, 580 million dollars worth of it on the day when we transferred from the address we received a year and a half ago we never touched it we actually actually kind of forgot about it uh, but thus far uh you haven't disclosed your liabilities and, and i wonder now you guys can see a lot of questions are being asked 500 million dollars and you know a lot of massive questions are being asked uh, and a lot of this is going to continue and um you know this could have a massive massive uh, you know, uh, effect on the entire crypto space. And look at what I just came across. So uh, this is on Twitter. It says, also CZ says that they actually forgot about that 500 million for a while. Is forgetting about half a billion dollars supposed to make me feel more confident in their ability to properly run an exchange? So again, guys, this is bigger than expected and we're talking not just about any ordinary exchange this is the biggest exchange in the cryptocurrency markets and that is a binance and right now if we do hear some sort of a negative news where they can't really answer certain questions about their liabilities where specific amounts of funds go and most importantly if they don't have what they say they do have this will you know affect the entire cryptocurrency market in such a massive way and you know it's going to push us back about like five years in my personal opinion and a lot of people are going to kind of shift away their interest from crypto for the next few years so this is bigger than expected the reason as to why this is happening right now is because ftx you know went uh to zero massive collapse they were using users funds and um you know, making lies to users saying, hey, you know what, your users, uh, your funds are safe in our reserves, but the reserves were empty. And now every single exchange after a massive bankruptcy like that happens, every single exchange is going to be questioned. And the people are uh, focusing mostly on Binance right now, which is the biggest exchange because a lot of volume is on there. And right now, if we're looking at the BNB price, it's sitting at some very important levels right now you guys can see the yearly low was on june 2nd but we're sitting at some massive support level that goes all the way back to april of 2021 after the massive uh rise that we have seen bnb do so if we lose this level of support and more negative news comes out you know we could see bnb have a massive effect and overall the month of december was playing out quite you know well for the entire crypto space but look what's happening with btc btc is also reacting to the entire uh, you know mania that we're having kevin o'leary ftx you know binance these are some massive massive uh you know news that should not be ignored and moving forward how cz overcomes this and how he answers these questions are very important so you know like i said i'll say it again not no one wants to hear this but if the price of i'm sorry if you know they don't have certain funds that they say they do have 
I am saying for 100% Binance is going, uh, you know, a bankrupt. Not only that, this can affect the entire crypto space in such a massive way that you will not even imagine. So, you know, the next few months are very important. I hope more and more positive news were to come out, you know, from Binance and really save this market. But if not, then this can be bigger than expected. But let me know down below what you guys think. What's your overall outcome uh what are your thoughts on what he is saying do you guys see any red flags let me know down below and do not forget to like comment and subscribe i will see you guys tomorrow it's been crypto zx and peace out